Hare Krishna. Today we will discuss from the 7th chapter of Gita, Shloka number 8. So till now, we were discussing on the 7th chapter, which is knowledge of the Absolute. Herein, Lord Krishna tells us about His various energies and how to connect to Him. So, today's Shloka 7.8 goes like this. Rasoham apu konteya Prabhasmi sasi suryo ho Pranava sarva vedeshu Shabdakhe purusham nrushu Translation O son of Kunti, I am the taste of water, the light of sun and the moon, the syllable Om in the Vedic mantras, and I am the sound in ether and ability in man. Now if you see this shloka of Gita, Krishna tells four of his opulences by which we can connect to him. Every time I read this shloka, personally, I get goosebumps. The way Krishna says that I am the sun and the moon, I am the taste of water, I am the ability in man, I am the, uh, the sound in ether. I mean, so what else remains? Uh, the whole process of devotional service is to become Krishna conscious, conscious about Krishna. And that's how, or that is why, rather, Srila Prabhupada, uh, named, are the, named our organization as ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So that our Chetana, our Bhavana becomes connected to Krishna. Right. And Krishna helps us at every possible step that how we can connect back to Him. Here in Krishna says that He is the taste of water. I mean, so it's a summer going on now, it's so hot. And when we are thirsty and I'll tell you, every, every, every hour we become thirsty. And when we are thirsty, it's only the water, pure water, which can quench our thirst. Uh, there's a saying in English that uh, if you are thirsty, don't drink juice, drink water. Right? Because it's only the water which can quench our thirst. And Krishna says that He is the taste of that water, Rasoham. If you can remember this word, Rasoham, it will become so easy for us that every time we drink water, we'll be able to connect to Krishna. And that's Krishna consciousness. Connecting to Krishna through every small aspect of our lives. Right. So Krishna says, Rasoham, I am the quencher of your thirst. Rather, devotees always see Krishna not only as the uh, quencher of thirst, but also supplier of all the resources that we have. Everything what we see around is supplied by Krishna. And Krishna goes a step forward and He says He is not only the supplier of everything, but He is also the essence of everything. Just like the essence of sugar is to be sweet, the essence of salt is to be salty, the essence of water is to quench our thirst. The same thing Krishna emphasizes here again in Bhagavad Gita, uh, Shloka number 8, wherein He says that He is the one who quenches our thirst. So every time we drink water, we should be able to connect to Krishna. Oh, Krishna, thank you very much. It is so great. It is so great. Further, Krishna says that, huh, He says, Prabhasmi sasi suryoha. I am the light of sun and the moon. See, we are in the day, there is sunlight. In the night, there is moonlight. We are in the night. Now the moon, oh, there he is. He is just uh, uh, on top of us, right? So if we are in a scratching hot sun or in a nice twilight of the moon, Krishna says over here, both of these are my energy. So when we are standing here below the moon and nicely uh, enjoying this soothing environment, we can connect to Krishna that this, uh, this is energy of Krishna. And that's what he says in Bhagavad Gita, that the light of the sun and the light of the moon are my energies. See, it is so simple. Krishna, uh, I'm again emphasizing the point that Krishna is making life so easy for us. We feel, oh, it is so difficult to connect to the Lord. Oh, yeah, Krishna is Sarva Vyapi, Bhagavan Sab Jage Pe Hai, but we dikte nahi hai, ya fir, uh, hum, we cannot reciprocate with the Lord. But here, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna gives the entire knowledge. He says, I am the light of sun, I am the light of moon, I am the quencher of your thirst in the form of water. So what else we want? So everything what we do in our daily life, we can easily connect to Krishna if we have this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita. 
He further says that I am the sound in ether. Uh, now, this is something very, very peculiar. Uh, just imagine when you're sleeping or when we all are sleeping, all our senses, uh, maybe our nose and our eyes are closed and we, 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 we are in deep sleep. But when we are in deep sleep, there's only one sense which is active and that is hearing. Right, so when some, when big noise come or when the alarm rings, we just get up. So even though all our senses are dead during sleeping, but hearing sense, the sense of sound is always active. And Krishna says that he is that sound in ether. See, this is all subtle things. Krishna uh, spoke Gita. He just didn't say whatever came to his mind. This all are very very subtle things. And Krishna shows how prominently he is there in every aspect of our life. Uh, sometimes people say, oh, Gita is not practical. It's not to be practiced in this day and age. I'm very busy in office or I'm uh, very much uh, tied up with my work. I cannot practice Bhagavad Gita. But Bhagavad Gita, or rather Krishna gives through Bhagavad Gita a very, very simple process of becoming Krishna conscious. That is by connecting to Krishna by every activity what we do in life. And finally, he says, I am the ability in man. And when he says ability in man, you know, sometimes we are so uh, so proud of our achievement. Sometimes we say, oh, this is my purushartha. It's because of my purushartha that I have done this. I'm a self-made man or a woman. But Krishna says, hey, hey, wait. That ability in you, man or woman, both, it's by me. Now, when he says all this, these four things in this shloka, he starts by saying, I am the taste of water. Then he says that, uh, I am the light of sun and moon, I am the sound in ether, and then he also says that I am the ability in man and woman. So he covers everything. He covers most, the, most of the aspects of our life wherein we can connect to Krishna by our activities and become Krishna conscious. Right? So again, this emphasizes the same point that Bhagavad Gita is a very, very practical literature. Bhagavad Gita gives us immense knowledge about Krishna and how to connect to Him. It's only that we have to open it, read it and apply in it in life. Again, in this shloka, even if we remember this two words, Rasoham, 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 I am the taste of water. Again, it's a summer time, we'll be drinking a lot of water. Every time we drink water, if we remember Krishna, that is perfection of our life. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama.